Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get into it. Movies and TV shows we saw recently in corn stream scenes. I saw what's going on. You kicking with KCMC. Check this out, man. We might as well do it. I have a very unpopular opinion about this. This one quiet on set. The dark side of kids TV. I saw this on the ID channel. No endorsements. This was four episodes so far. At least this is a documentary starring uh, at least Drake Bell, who's one of the Nickelodeon uh, child actors, I should say. It's a docuseries that uncovers the toxic culture behind some of the most iconic children's shows of the late 1990s and early 2000s. It's a prize fifth episode of the docuseries, Quiet on the Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV, titled Breaking the Silence, will launch April 7th on Investigation Discovery. ID channel and then stream on max by the way so I want to break down my thoughts on each episode give me just give me a second I only got the first three for real that I want to talk about so the first one most of the writers talked about how they sued and settled out of court knowing it would ruin their career one of them specifically said I hope it would be worth it and then did like a dramatic pause Almost insinuating like she has to ponder whether or not it was worth it for her to sue and go into litigation and risk her entire career based on the harassments she says she was receiving or if she was should have just kept her mouth shut and continued in her career. She almost feels like she regrets that. And that to me is like, if that's the case, why are you even here doing this documentary? Cause you're making it worse at this point so you're clearly just doing it i want to say for the money i know you were doing it for your right to stand up and all this other stuff but if that was the case stand on it be like no i know i did this because i want the sacker it is what it is i knew it was gonna come with it or you play the game and you go along with it that's just my opinion on it but anyway another writer talked about um you know some of the stuff that they would be asked to do by dan snyder and stuff like that and how they you know fear doing it but they would still do it grown ass people once again the whole thing and theme behind this is why are you choosing your career behind your your, your integrity your your self dignity why are you choosing that clearly they're making the decision to choose at the time make their decision choose their career we'll continue on Chapter two, episode two, I should say that black dude, Brian Hearn, says that through the torture, people say, quote, you made money, so why complain, end quote. And then he says, but at what cost, though? Nigga, you made the decision to be there. Now, I get it. You were a child at the time. But at the same time, you doing this documentary reflecting on what you were thinking then lets us know that you at least had the mindset to know some of that stuff was wrong you didn't feel right it made you feel a certain type of way so you should have spoke up trust me as somebody who knows from childhood trauma that i should have spoke up that's what i know what, what went wrong in my life so i'm not gonna blame nobody else that black dude that mentioned therapy a thousand times we know you're clearly resentful. You probably even have some resentment towards your mom, your mother, and what she felt and how, how she reacted. She felt like she was going to call. She's going to call the scene on set. And she protected her child. You obviously don't have children because you don't even know how she feels. That's what I feel about episode two. But let me know what you think. Episode three. Episode three. Um, they, they got into introducing Drake Bell. Uh, you know, they were talking about a lot of people, how they were seeing the signs on set and how everything, something seemed weird and there were red flags, but they kind of ignored it. They didn't want to make any noise on set or be that person that be uncooperative. Listen, if this environment goes against your principles, your standards, your integrity, you should be against that environment at all costs. Even if it costs your career, okay, I got to this pillar, found out it's not what I think. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pivot and find something else. Yeah, we all have dreams and want to be something, but sometimes when you get there, you realize it ain't what what you think, and you just gotta make a pivot and do something else. 
I completely understand. Trust me, as somebody who wants to be some successful in radio, and I volunteered to back out of radio, it's, I understand. But at the same time, I also understand a lot of these people, including Drake Bell, who said he went through a lot with that voice actor coach or whatever the case may be. But then, but then he also said this. When he finally told his mom, that's when she called the police and a lot of this stuff unfolded. Now, he may not have got the justice that he, justice that he wanted, but overall... It all stopped once you told your mom, bro. So I got a question. How much of this did you really either want or just didn't mind because you were sacrificing for your career? Drake Bell? I'm not victim blaming whatsoever. I'm someone who was a victim of that, of that type of stuff at a very young age, by the way. But what I'm saying is, you're old enough. I wasn't old enough to talk and comprehend. He was 16, 14, 15, 16, whatever. You were old enough to comprehend and tell your mom. I wasn't. So I feel like a lot of these kids, y'all made the sacrifice. A lot of these parents, y'all made the sacrifice for your kids to meet, reach these levels. Episode four was just a recap. They're supposed to come out with episode five. I think we all get the picture at this point. But that's just my overall take. From Quiet on Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV on Nickelodeon. I don't agree with anything that goes down, but we all heard rumors for years, decades, that behind the scenes of Hollywood is Holly weird. It's very weird. A lot of people do weird stuff there, and you got to do weird stuff in order to make it and succeed. So for you to get there and find and think it's anything different and be surprised, I can't do nothing but feel like, What's wrong with your perspective? That's just what I think. Let me know what you think. Go off in the live chat in the comments or call into the show. 313-466-4386. Switching it up to another movie that we did see. Or is this a movie? Documentary. Freak Nick. We watched this also on Hulu. No endorsement. Um, This was... I forgot how long this was, man. It, it was a documentary. Just one long documentary it's like an hour let's say like an hour 45 minutes hour 30 minutes 45 minutes not too bad um it was featuring appearances by 21 savage Lil john killer mike jalen rose too short former atlanta mayor kasim reed eric sermon CeeLo green and more the only name that stands out to me is 21 savage nigga why are you in this documentary not now listen, I got I gotta Google this. I gotta Google this. When was Twenty One Savage born? When was Twenty One Savage? Nineteen ninety two, October twenty two, nineteen ninety two. You literally four days older than my brother. Same year and everything. You really don't know nothing about Freak Nick because you weren't even born here. Then you came over here and then you lived in Atlanta or whatever your story is. Point is, why is this nigga here? Why is this nigga speaking on it? I feel like I got more right to speak on it. I was born in 89. I knew nothing about it. I mean, I heard of it. I, I knew of it in real time. I heard about it. I was like five at the height of it in 94. But other than that, bro, what are y'all doing having 21 7? That was just weird to me. And and uh Eric, Bishop Lamont Hill, Eric Lamont Hill, Mark Lamont Hill, whatever his name is. Both of the niggas that had the collars on. Why are y'all niggas here? This is the freak Nick. We want to hear about the freaky stuff. We want to see the freaky stuff. Now, here's what I want to debate on this. Uh First and foremost, a lot of people were judgmental on the fact that it it didn't incorporate the freaky stuff. They want to see the breasts. They want to see the booty cat. Like my girl like to say, they want to see the booty cat. But they didn't see it. This was on Hulu, my dog. How much booty cat did you think you were going to see? You're not going to see much booty cat. With that being said, um, a lot of people were disappointed with that. On the other side... What they really did with this documentary was philosophize and humanize ratchetness, twerking, uh, 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 just hood ratism. 
they were philosophizing that, which is like to me is like I get it because people do that, they do that to stuff like, but it was kind of corny and weird. If I'm being honest, it was kind of corny and weird. Other than that, this is what I will say about the documentary overall. Um, I appreciate it because when I was when it was actually happening in the early 90s or in the 90s, I should say, I was young. I was an adolescent. I was a toddler. I was, you know, like I said, five years old in 94 when it when it literally was at its peak all the way to 10 years old. So I don't necessarily know too much about it. I heard of it, but um, this gave me a lot of insight that I didn't know necessarily. We didn't live in Atlanta. Only person I know that went lived in Atlanta was my TT who moved to Atlanta in the 90s. So she might know a lot about it. Thank God I didn't see her in it. Other than that, Freak Nick the documentary was okay. If y'all wanted to see the freak stuff, it probably should have been on Max or something like that. Stars or something like that. For it to be on Hulu, I don't see why y'all was expecting it to be crazy like that. I think the only thing that went wrong was them having niggas in college shirts. Eric Lamont Hill, whoever that other dude was. We wanted Uncle Luke and everybody else from Atlanta, Lil John, them other people, they were supposed to be there. But other than that, Freaknik was not a bad documentary. That's what I overall want to get out there. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think. Go off in the live chat in the comments or call into the show. 313-466-4386. Uh, I think I got an, another movie that I did watch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I just literally watched this, too, man. Um, So, this is Shirley on Netflix. By the way, you can see Netflix. Look at me getting on point with that uh, pause. Uh, no endorsement, by the way, with Netflix. Hour 58 minutes. This is a biopic on Shirley Chisholm, by the way. Shirley Chisholm makes a trailblazing round for the 1972 Democratic presidential nomination after becoming the first black woman elected in Congress. Shout out to uh, Shirley Chisholm, by the way, man. Uh, played by Regina King. Terrence Howard is also in this movie. I forgot who he plays. Overall, this is what I want to say. I, I, I knew little to nothing of Shirley, Shirley Chisholm. Heard of the name. Don't know too much about her. But this gave me, once again, great insight as to who she was, her battle, and what she actually did in her life and how she made a difference. Why she is notified as the woman she is. Um, with that being said, I, I liked it. It was okay. Um, I don't necessarily know how to judge biopics that I didn't live for because I'm learning all of this brand new. So um, it was interesting. The acting seemed decent. I actually read the story of Shirley Chisholm on history.com. While this movie was going on, and so literally, I was kind of like, as they were saying some of the stuff, I was like, oh, okay, I just read this. McGovern. Well, I want, let me tell you one thing that I took away from this movie. I don't want to make this a black thing, because when it comes to politics, you kind of got to take race out of it in some parts of it. Some parts. But one thing that I noticed is not only did the black people in politics go against Shirley Chisholm because they didn't take her serious. But when they went against her and gave their delegates to McGovern, that nigga ended up losing to Nixon anyway. And the black people was trying to say, we need to, we need to give our delegates to, to a candidate who can beat Nixon. The nigga ended up losing to Nixon, bro. So it's like a double slap in the face, bro. I can see if the person that they gave the delegates to won, McGovern. But he lost to Nixon. So y'all really did all of that and really just made, like, made the public, made the entire country see that black people can't come together. <laughs> and I hate to make it about race. And I hate to even say that this movie or that time depicted that but some of the stuff she did was questionable her visiting george wallace the governor of alabama who's very very racist and for segregation at that time 1963 segregation today segregation tomorrow segregation forever george wallace governor of alabama who said that 
who was shot four times, Shirley Chisholm went and visited him in the hospital. A lot of black voters was like, I'm not messing with her after that. And I understand why. If you're not explaining that specifically, and even then, like some people still might not get it, you're going to lose a lot of votes. Black people specifically. So, with that being said, I see some of the downfalls as to why she didn't win her presidential election. She was very aggressive. I love that. See, I mean, there, there's, a, there's a time and place for it, and she found her place for it. And she was pushing to get what she want, and it, it seemed to work in her favor. But overall, it could have also been her downfall. But that's just what I think. Shirley on Netflix played by Regina King. This should have been theater release. Should have been way bigger than Netflix. No endorsement, but no no disrespect to Netflix, though. But that's just what I think. Great acting by Regina King. Let me know what you think. Go off in the live chat in the comments. Call into the show. 313-466-4386. I think that's all we had in regards to... Look at me. I look crazy. I mean, I, I think that's all we had, man. So we about to go ahead and get up out of here if you don't mind. But before we do that, got speaking of mine, if you don't mind, I got something on my mind. So the other day I was in Walmart. And, you know, I just got like a handful or, or a basket full of items that I want to turn in. You know, cash out. So as soon as I'm coming down the aisle, I turn a corner about to go to the cashier. I see a dog in Walmart, bro. I'm like, oh, snap. It caught me off guard. And it's some chick who clearly is not blind with a fucking dog in Walmart, bro. And I'm just immediately like, okay, this must be one of these goofy ass niggas that need a dog for anxiety. Bro, listen. Nowadays, we're catering to people who have anxiety around humans by giving them a dog in public that's usually only catered to humans. That is weird to me, bro, that we cater to people like that. That's just what I think. Let me know what you think. Go off in the live chat in the comments or call into the show. 313-466-4386. Hey, man, I'm about to get up out of here. Before we do that, do me a favor. Kick it with KCMC on all social media at K-I-W-K-C-M-C. That's Kick It With K-C-M-C. Just the abbreviations on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I got to stop saying Twitter. I got to change that to X now, right? I guess I do. Uh, TikTok, Snapchat, all that. K-I-W-K-C-M-C. Check out my sponsor also, Team Elite. they on Facebook, Twitter, X also at Team Elite 313. And uh, check out their website, TeamElite313.com for their uh, urban premium T-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, tech fleece, jogger sets, varsity sets, and more. It's all on your website, baby. TeamLead313.com. Ask your mom. Appreciate you for kicking with KC this far in the video. See as I saw, if you got this far in the video, show some love, man. Donate to the show so we can grow. We always appreciate that. Got the cash app right here. Other than that, for the free ski, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe. Hit the alert so you know when we're going live because I might pop up on you at any time. Other than that, I got my singles, hands and knees, and juice featuring my dog, Techmatic, Tech P. We got that link all in the description below. Uh, other than that, man, share with a friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend. I appreciate you. We out.